Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys one of the best clipping softwares, NVIDIA Shadowplay. And guys, this is actually my third video about the best clipping softwares. I made two other videos about Metal TV and Outplay. And my Outplay video got over like 2k views. So I just wanted to say like thank you guys so much for your support for the past two months that I've been uploading videos. And yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna cover everything about the best settings for NVIDIA Shadowplay. So yeah, just stick around and see it for yourself. Okay, so first of all, you wanna download NVIDIA Shadowplay. And it's really simple. You wanna go to your browser. And then you wanna type GeForce Experience right here. Click on it. And then click on the first link from NVIDIA itself. And then just download it. So after you've installed GeForce Experience, you want to go to search and then type GeForce Experience and then click on it. And then you want to go to settings. And then you want to find in-game overlay. So it's right here. And then you want to turn it on. Just turn it on. And as you guys can see, it's now turned on. And it says press Alt and Z to share your gameplay or adjust settings. So you want to press Alt and Z on your keyboard. Alt and Z. And boom. We have here nvidia shadow play so we're gonna start with the settings go to settings so the first setting we have hud layout you want to click on it and in here we have performance viewers and comments and i don't really know what comments will do but viewers is just if you're like streaming on youtube or twitch if you select viewers and select the position it's gonna show your viewers but the important thing is performance you want to click on it and then choose a position and then now i don't know if you guys can see it or not but it's showing like my gpu power my gpu temperature fan speed and so yeah, it's like really useful for people that do like a lot of benchmarks on, on their pc so yeah but now i'm just gonna turn it off because i don't actually need it so after that we have keyboard shortcuts and in here we have a lot of important stuff as well like push to talk microphone on or off because not every headphone has mute button so you can just apply a shortcut here and then and then when you press that key bind it's gonna turn your microphone on or off but we want to capture our game right that's the whole point of this video to do that you want to find record section so right here and then for save the last 0.5 minutes you want to choose a key bind on your keyboard so i have f9 because it's like easy for me when i get a like nice kill i just have to like press f9 and and that's like really easy for me after that you want to go to recordings and so in here you want to choose a folder for your clips and every time you, you clip something your clips are gonna go to that folder and then we have highlights and guys i always recommend turning this setting off because it's just gonna take a lot of space and it's gonna like capture everything so yeah just turn the setting off and do it like manually and then we have video capture so in keyboard shortcuts, I told you guys to choose a keybind on your keyboard for capturing. So in here, we have instant replay length. And for instant replay length, you want to choose a time. So for example, if you choose 45 seconds, whenever you press that keybind that you've selected, for me is F9, it's going to clip the last 45 seconds, for example. And we have here from 15 seconds all the way up to 20 minutes and i don't recommend like like above two minutes because then it's gonna like take a lot of space and it's gonna lower your performance so for me i'm just gonna put it on 30 seconds because i want to capture whenever i get like a nice kill so i'm just gonna put it on 30 seconds and then for quality you want to put it on custom and for resolution in game frame rate 60 fps always for smooth clips and for bit rate so it depends on your pc so what i want you guys to do is just go in game and just try different bit rates see like which one works for you but for me like 50 works fine for me but it depends on your pc so yeah. and after that you want to go to notification and, and turn every setting off every setting in here off just turn them all off because they are gonna like lower your performance and for privacy control we have desktop capture and and if you want to capture your desktop as well you can turn this on but if you don't just turn it off and after that you want to click done and in here we have instant replay and this is for capturing so turn this on 
a record is like what I'm doing right now, but I'm using OBS and you can use NVIDIA Shadow Play, but I don't recommend it because OBS is like a lot better for recording and yeah, it just has like more settings. And then we have a performance setting. So click on it. And again, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's again showing my stuff about my PC, like my GPU temperature and my fan speed. But below that, you can overclock like your fan speed your temperature and guys don't touch any of this please unless you know what you're doing and you're like a pc expert but yeah that's all the settings and yeah that's it for this video guys i hope it helped you guys as always i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah see you guys in the next video